Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum friends I'm sure you all good this is Sai uh, in this video I'm going to show you how we can avoid from panel uh, hydroscasidity problem panel serial correlation and cross section dependence so friends uh, if you find all of three uh, problems or one by one in your model uh, you can avoid all of these because of uh, we have two different estimators like the first one is FGLS FGLS stand for feasible generalized least care and the later one is PCSE panel corrected standard error so guys we have two different estimators and the base we can avoid all of said um, problems like first one was heterosecretary and the second one was panel serial correlation and the third one was cross section dependent so for this video i am grateful sir suborno aditya and he supported me to learn about fgln pcs pcsc so first of all okay i'm going to show you two different papers the first one is that if you want to do a depth study about fgls and pcsc you have to read this paper i think it is the best paper so actually i said we have two different approaches and uh, both are the same if i talk about fgls the first one it is the precondition of the fgls that uh, fgls produce an efficient estimation one a case where time period is greater than the n means if you have greater than your time period as compared to your cross sections in this case fgls is best again if you have your time period is greater than as compared to your cross section in this case fgls is best fgls is best like uh, for reference sorry here yeah. okay this is title you can download it is totally free from google and you can read the preconditions uh, okay here yeah. can read the preconditions of fgls estimation and the later one is it's my best paper and uh, my favorite okay which panel data estimation should i use it's available on google so guys look here one estimator that can is pax feasible generalized least care feasible generalized least care estimator however it can only be implemented when the number of time periods is greater than or equal to number of cross sections again if you have uh, your time periods greater than or equal to your cross sections then this is best technique to overcome uh, hydroscasidity problem serial correlation problem and cross section dependence so guys now let's start i have my data and my dependent variable energy gdp and gi i have three independent variable while i have one dependent variable i have panel data so suppose i found there is a same correlation problem it was scarcity problem as well as cross dependence problem so i'm gonna here i'm performing basic three steps the first one is importation of the data i have done it i have import my data then assign ids means assigning the code for this 
I employ this command. Uh, look here. Uh, 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 okay. This one. This command is used to generate IDs or codes. Okay, I done it. Sorry, actually I have done this already. That's why you can see if I yeah. look here, friends. I have already generated codes for each country, so you have no need to generate again. The next step is set time for this. I copy that. Okay, I have set the time and now again suppose I found there is a problem of heteroskicidity, cell correlation and cross dependence for this. Suppose I found my time period is greater than my cross sections. Whenever your time period is greater than your n means cross section then FGLS produce efficient results so look here this is the command and your command is here this is the command for FGLS look here in fact we have two options AR1 and PSAR1 so we can employ anyone which you like AR1 or PASR1 so sorry I have just include AR here okay the first this part is to correct heteroseq acidity problem and the second part is for the serial correlations if we add two commands this command show that we are going to overcome tackle heteroseq acidity and autocorrelation problem and here XTG XTGLS and this is command and my dependent variable and all my independent variables okay friends you can see we have controlled heteroseq acidity as well as serial correlation but not uh, cross section dependence so FGLS and PCSE both of commands are by default uh, taken cross dependence problem so you have no need to write any type uh, any kind of command to control uh, cross section dependence because of both of the um, estimations by default control this problem and I done it okay you can see uh, these are my results and these results are free from serial correlation or heteroseq acidity problems you can see here my coefficient uh, here standard errors here my probability value and overall my model is good fit or not we can check through here so friends um, we have learned about the FGLS estimations but now uh, I would like to run PCSE for this I have already done this command so this is a command for the letter actually you can see whenever you have greater than your time period then FGLS is best but what if time period is not greater than T so look here at the bottom you can see PCSC estimation estimator is widely adopted and further you can read here so PCSC estimator can run whatever the scenario like uh, uh, so you can see like uh, if you have greater than uh, T then FGLS is better and if you have not then PCSE is good one you can see here uh, command my dependent variable then my all independent variable and here you can see uh, correlation I put this option for the um, correlation now you can see I did not write any kind of the command for the heteroseq identity so I would like to share here that PCSC estimator by default controlled heteroseq identity problem as well as cross dependence so 
I just only put correlation uh, option because of here I'm directing the software please uh, control civil correlation problem again for uh, uh, here okay here I have command you can see here PCSE command first XTPSC PCSE then dependent variable then all independent variable comma co core and this we have two options you can use um, anyone which you like so further you should read all this so friends I done it and okay so these are the results of PCSE again coefficients standard errors p values so thank you so much friends for being with me take care cheers and good luck